What's up, guys? Devil Dog Gamer here. Yes, it's body armor time. So, as part of what we talked about with the bug out bag, part of the experience will be putting this together. Because right now, it is a very empty vest. I actually got this from Honor Bee when he came to visit me one time because I got the sappy plates. And um, the vest I had sucks, so he gave me this. This is a Pantac vest, an OD green. Perfect for Florida. And, anyways, inside we have four AR500 steel plates. One in the front, one in the back, two side sappies. Now, that's not usually the best of thing. AR500 steel is kind of like the cheap route um, to your, your like level three kind of armor. The only problem with AR500 steel is it's extremely heavy. This whole thing, as of right now, is about 50 pounds. It is not fun. Not only that, the chances of breaking ribs if one of these gets hit is pretty fucking high. Um, it is pretty crazy. So anyways, about the vest, what we're going to do, and I'll show off the plates here in a little bit. Um, this vest is going to be made for, you know, my primary carry. So in a bug out situation, it's going to be the SCAR 17, which is a 762. So what I'm thinking here is we do two double stacks, so four mags here, and then maybe a drop pouch coming off of here, two more mags right on over here to rest my arm on, because, you know, that's fucking legit. And then IFAX on the back, maybe some other shit, I don't know, pistol mags on the back something but there's plenty of room you can see there's molly all over the place on it all over the place i can even undo this if i wanted to and there's you know just little molly spots right up here for pistol mags something like that there's not a lot of room when it comes to molly but it's definitely upgradable and it has a quick release so i could just pull it and dump it which i don't want to put it back together we're not going to do <laughs> i don't want to break a fucking toe either because <laughs> it's going to fucking it will it'll break my toe it's ridiculous so anyways i'm going to take it apart Pull out some of the sappies and show them off. All right, guys. So here is the AR-500 flat pieces. I didn't get curved. I don't know why I didn't get curved. It is steel. Super fucking heavy. This is level three. It is about a quarter inch thick. This is the side sappy, which goes right about here. This is in the front. So we're going to talk a little bit. Oh, God. I thought that was going to bounce back at me. <laughs> so it pretty much has like a, a Duro. What's that fucking liner called? The Rhino liner, whatever. This liner catches spalling, so when the round hits, it catches all the fragments and it kind of bubbles up, and we'll, so there's no fragments in my face or anything like that. Because if it didn't have this light, this lining coating, not to say you're not going to catch a little piece of shrapnel here and there coming off of a ricochet, but majority of when it hits, say this isn't here, good good instance. If you see any of my shooting videos, we shoot the steel's target. That's AR500 steel. It doesn't even dent it. 7.62 doesn't scratch it, doesn't dent it. This thing can take hits and keep on licking. But once the spalling's gone, every time a round hits, it's going to start shooting shrapnel all up around in my face and bullshit like that, which is going to suck. But I'll be alive. My mug will be ugly, but I'll be alive. So that doesn't matter. Shit's heavy. It's the cheap alternative to it. Level 3 body armor, um, Kevlar body armor, is probably about three times as thick and about four times as expensive. So this is the, this is the cheap route. And it's definitely something worth getting. I mean, it's kind of an oh shit situation. I'd rather have it, not need it. You know what I mean? But if somebody's going to shoot at me, I'm damn well having this on. There's no fucking way I'm walking out without fucking body armor on. There's no way in hell. But anyways, guys, the vest, we'll start putting it together, get some stuff, put it together, arrange it, show you guys how I have it arranged, what mags hold where, and stuff like that. But you got any suggestions, comments, concerns, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.